Okay, we I'll call the meeting to order. Was the meeting properly noticed? Yes, it was. Um, clerk will take roll. All members are present. Okay. Uh, we have the agenda before us. I'd look for a motion to approve. So moved. Supervisor Scott Pease, second by Supervisor Rick Pease. Any discussion or questions on the agenda? Seeing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Those opposed, signify by saying nay. Agenda is approved. We had the minutes from June 9th. Entertain a motion to approve. Supervisor Grabarski, second by Supervisor Paler. Any discussion or questions on the minutes? Saying none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. Those opposed, signify by saying nay. Uh, minutes are approved. So uh, we'll uh, let public participation if there's any, uh, as we go through, any correspondence? None. Okay, no correspondence. Uh, treasurer's report, is the treasurer on? No. Well, we'll move on and Rich, is Rich out today? Anybody know? I don't see him on. So uh, let's just, and maybe and maybe they'll come in. So I mean, if if there's, uh, don't know if anybody has any questions on the treasurer's report. Mr. Chair. Yes. So the solid waste um, that is now on a CD, uh, and it looks like a 24 month CD. Is that, am I reading that right? Mr. Chair. Yes. Yeah, they're in a 24 month CD as of February of this year. Um, the interest rate is not that 5.06. The 5.06 is for all uh -huh. the other ones. Um, I think the solid waste ones are just over 4%. And Kyle, does that accumulate yearly and add it on or it gets accumulates at the end? Do you know? I, I can't remember. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, and then on the money that's in second page, Liana, please. Okay. So the money we have there, that is not interest bearing on the clerk and HHS and the sheriff. Mr. Chair. Yes. Yeah, those uh, the clerk of courts, um, the HHS account and the sheriff account, those are interest bearing. Um, one community bank has been adjusting the interest rates monthly for all of our accounts. Uh, and then the solid waste CDs, uh, I'm pulling that up right now. Um, it, I believe it's going to be paid twice a year for the interest. We haven't had an interest payment yet on it since we've established those accounts. Okay, thanks. Okay. Seeing no, there she is right there. We were just gonna go on to the IT report. Do you have anything to share? Do I want to? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, we're sorry about that. I was actually starting to work on finishing my budget. But anyway, um, taxes are going great. Um, we got the Dropbox going here as of today, I think. And any questions on my report? Supervisor Gabarski was asking about the solid waste CDs. That interest is paid semi-annually. I didn't set that one up. Kyle did. Is it? No, you know, not yet. That, yeah. And we started that in February. Yeah. So. so Kyle thought they were semi-annually. So 
We'll soon yeah. find out. <laughs> and then the ones on the other departments, the clerk of courts accounts, there's no interest rate stated on here. Kyle says it changes monthly. It's the same as the one that we have on the one community bank on our side. Okay. Um, all the, they, that was the nice thing that they had um, done for us about a year ago that when they set up the percentage points to be a little bit higher than, than what the LGIP comes out. So it's at that oh, five, sorry. <laughs> it's, it's at that 5.06% then? At this point, yeah. Okay. Is that any question, Supervisor Okay. 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 Well, thank you. We'll move on then to the IT report. As soon as. Okay, seeing none, we'll move on then to the human resources report. Uh, Supervisor Rick Pease. I see those solid waste people are resignations, and there's no retirements there. Mr. Chair? Yes. Yeah, some of those were retirements. Okay. So I think all of them. Well, Kyle, um, they were all retirements, right? Okay. All right. Yeah, we'll have to fix that. Okay. Um, the second question I have is um, dispatchers. I don't see it on your list of openings, but I see it being advertised on social media and stuff, but I don't see it on here. So I guess, is there openings there or not? Mr. Chair, I think this report is dated effective like the end of June. So if there's new stuff happening now, it wouldn't be reflective on here for sure. I wish there was a way we could do this like real time, but yeah. okay. there's no way. That's fine. Thank you. Mr. Chair. Uh, regarding solid waste, was there a resignation or a retirement from the office part? Because I did not see that on there. Mr. Chair? Yes. There is an office staff that, um, Kyle, I believe there, is it July that it'll be? The end of July is when that happens, and that's not a retirement. So very Scott piece. Are any of these uh, individuals from uh, solid waste accepting jobs or can they within the county? Mr. Chair, yes. kind of limited in how much personnel stuff I can discuss, but I will tell you that I am seeing applicant applicants applying for certain things. So that's a yes. I they guess, can. Yes. Okay, yes. Okay. Don't ask me who. All right. <laughs> I'd like to follow up on that, if I might. Yes. May. So if they get another job within the county, is the criteria on the agreement, separation agreement, that that goes away when they get the new job, or they get that and they can have a job as well? Who wrote that? <laughs> Oh, wait. Was that, do you want that answered or? I think it was a statement. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, seeing no further questions, we'll move on to the council's report. Any questions on the report? And let you know it's, I've been extremely busy, especially since Diane left. But I want to thank everybody in the county that I've been working with. They've been very helpful. And we did interview on Wednesday. So hopefully that position will be filled soon. Okay. 
Seeing no questions, move on to the county clerk's report. Any questions? The only thing I have is if you are not registered for the WCA conference, we still have time for the early bird um, rates until August 4th. It might not be in your report, but um, are they going to uh, do the black topping before the fair or it'll be next year? Or? It's going to be after the fair. Okay. You raise Rick piece. What is a marriage index? Keeps track of everyone that applies for a marriage license. Like 59 million. No, that's the state stat. Okay. <laughs> Okay, seeing no other questions, we'll move on to the county manager's report. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and good morning. Let's start out with the appreciations. Judge Bonnet expressed her gratitude to the sheriff, Patrick Hauer, and Nolan Lamberty. Uh, both are court security deputies regarding the safety training for the judges' courtrooms. So congratulations to the sheriff's office, and thank you for a job well done. Accolades given to Kiefer Shroka for his part in the presentation given to the uh, Wolf Lake. And that came by William Pegler. So I always like to share that with everyone. So uh, congratulations to Kiefer Shroka and thank you for a job well done. We always welcome pos positive feedback from our citizens and, a, and an appreciation was shared about the great customer service received from Amy Weisinger uh, in the ROD's office. So congratulations to Amy and thank you for a job well done. Capital Projects, Veterans Memorial, we have progress now. The wall has been, helped. The wall has been officially poured July 6th, but there is still more work to be done. Under roof, that project was budgeted at 700,000. I am hearing that you know we had the, the bid openings on July 10th the numbers are coming in under budget. And there's a couple of pieces there. So I, I didn't want to really tell you what the numbers are, but Bill does have something shared on his report. Fairgrounds, this uh, the paving, uh, the budget was 150,000 for that. It's going to be more around the 200,000. I had mentioned in previous reports that perhaps that was going to be around 40,000. Remember how I said 400,000? It's 40,000 uh, over budget, but it's looking more like it's gonna be around the $200,000 mark. But if you combine those two projects, it's nothing to worry about because they kind of net with under budget, all of the projects. County Highway M, I give you an update on that. If you go to page three, I'm mentioning in here that I'm, a, I'm taking a vacation July 24th through August 2nd. I'm really going to disconnect. So um, during that process, I'm going to assign some duties to Kyle and then other duties to um, Carol Wood as it relates to personnel. So I'm kind of splitting up stuff. But if it's an emergency, I'm still, I mean, people can still get a hold of me, but I am going to try to disconnect a little bit. Uh, Wisconsin County Association, the clerk touched on the August 4th date. So I also mentioned that in my report. We, uh, we don't have a large attendance right now. So I, I don't know how to kind of get the message out, especially with our new supervisors. I would, if there are those of you who have attended that conference and found value in it, I welcome you to share that positive experience with other supervisors to encourage them to go, especially this one. This is the one where they actually do a lot of board training. Next is the Wisconsin County Association board training. It was scheduled for July 18th. It is now canceled and I'm going to move the board training now with those topics and other topics to the board retreat, which if you will mark your calendar right now, it's not official. It's not on our calendars yet, but it's August 28th, and I believe it's going to be a start time of 5 p.m. 
Adam Spare, I touch on this. Uh, they are still looking for volunteers. I also share the, the fair dates of August 24th through August 27th with you. Moving on to page four. Up at the top there, I kind of touch on some office moves that are going to be happening. My office, uh, I'm in there now. So this is where you can find me. That's permanent. And then I mentioned, you know, the finance director, fiscal manager, lead fiscal, and the two fiscal accounting clerks, they're going to be moving up here temporarily while that section downstairs gets kind of redone for the, for uh, in preparation for the treasurer's move. And then under com community involvement, there's just, um, there's some bullet points there. A lot of discussions about the office moves within this area. Consideration was also given to continued uh, chamber funding also mentioned in that area. And that concludes my report. Are there any questions? Two words your scan, please. This is more of a statement. I see uh, that there's only three uh, supervisors signed up for the um, conference out of 20. It's a great um, conference. I've been quite a few times. I think when the board rules come around, it's really injustice to have county supervisors having to pay their hotel rooms, whether they're five miles away or 50 miles away. I think the county supervisors do enough that the least they can do is have a night or two stay. And I don't only learn a lot at the conference part of it, I learn after from a lot of people sit around at uh, supper or whatnot, and we shoot questions back and forth. I think that uh, on the rules should be changed that you attend the conference are going to pay for your hotel rooms. You should raise Rick, please. I see you mentioned the chamber and possible funding. I've seen a remarkable change since Megan has taken over the reins there from articles in the paper to uh, more enthusiastic votes in the parade, things like that. So I'm happy with the direction the chamber is going. I think that should be public knowledge for everybody. Any other comments, questions? Okay. Move on to project status report. Mr. Chair? Yes. Yep. Um, one project I did add on here um, is our Skyward migration. So currently the version of Skyward that we're using is, they call it SMS 2.0. We're, we've met with Skyward a few times and we're gonna be um, transitioning over to their new platform. I believe it's entirely web-based. Um, it's called Cumulative is their new platform. Um, other than that, I don't think there's been really too many major updates on the projects. Mr. Chair. Yes. Um, I added on to mine too. We are looking at um, upgrading our um, system from ESNS so that we'll be able to get the results for the election electronically. Two very Scott piece. Does that come with more cost? Yes, it does. It's in my budget though. I've talked to Kyle about it. Kyle, does the other come in budget? Um, yeah, Mr. Chair, so we yes. had, we had uh, budgeted, I think, in the past in IT, we were budgeting like $400,000 for a uh, new ERP system. We're going to continue to work with Skyward, and I believe this cost, um, it was under $15,000 for this upgrade. Anything else under the project staff support? Supervisor Paler? Just a question for Liana on that election. Will that be transferred directly from the election machines or will the clerks? It will be transferred directly from the DS 200. I noticed under Parks and Rec that uh, you had one project there that's highlighted. Is there any reason 
At least on mine it is. Under property. On the wrong tab. And my I'm on the project status report. Mr. Chair. Yeah, typically we try to just stay on the um, on the tabs re relevant to the com community. Oh, okay. But, um, yeah, with this one, I believe it's just about done, which is why it's highlighted. Okay. Um, we, we highlight them when they're completed, and then we'll just eventually okay. remove them. Okay. Thank you. If nothing else, we'll move on to the upper work group monthly report. Mr. Chair? Yes. Uh, one item that is not on here um, because it happened in July. This, so this is end of June. Um, Town of Adams East Side Fiber. I believe Marquette Adams has completed all the drafts. I actually spoke with one of their um, uh, employees yesterday about it. And all those drafts are completed, uh, or the, the main lines. And then they got to do the drafts to the houses, I believe. Um, and then also, Liana was able to get a $9,000 grant for the purchase of the election equipment, and we put that back into the ARPA fund. So uh, we have roughly $27,000 remaining of ARPA funds. Okay, so everybody, Kaparski. Kyle, where did that grant come from? Um, that one came from the Wisconsin Elections Commission. It was a federal grant. Is that, well, okay, was that a surprise or was that something that we knew was gonna happen? No, it was something new. Okay. Seeing no further questions, we'll move on to the debt uh, payment schedule. Yeah, super copies. I was the one to ask for this uh, at the last meeting. I was just wondering um, how much interest we're going to be paying in the end on this. And if we have extra money, when would be a good time to pay this off if, if it's available? Mr. Chair? Yes. This particular issuance, I don't believe, is callable until 2026, at which point the plan was we were going to then pay it off. Um, in 2026, because we should have um, enough funds built up in our debt service fund. However, um, we also kind of got a way, because solid waste is essentially paying for it, we also kind of got to evaluate where solid waste is at on their, um, in their cash balances, so. Thank you. Supervisor Kabarski. Now, is that interest rate as I view it, at two and a half, is that locked from beyond 2026, 2027? Mr. Chair? Yes. Um, so all of the, the interest rate is different for each um, principal amount. Uh, so we have a principal amount due April 1st of every year. Uh, it starts out at three and a half percent, then goes to 3% in 2027. Um, but yeah, they are locked in at those stated interest rates on all the different principal amounts. Well, if that's the case, I would highly recommend that we review um, the thought of paying this off in 2026. Um, interest rates have changed if no one had noticed. Yeah, yeah. if the interest rates are higher, we can leave our money in the bank and earn more money, but you don't have to evaluate it at that time, so. Okay. And then let's see. Okay. 
Next thing is to set the next meeting date. What? No fourth. No fourth? Uh, not on August 4th, huh? Mr. Chair? Yes. Yeah, I had a training that I've been planning with Skyward, and this is part of the uh, Skyward migration. Um, there was actually supposed to be one today uh, that I had scheduled prior to admin finance being moved to today. And now they've rescheduled again um, to August 4th for this training. Okay. Is August 7th work for everybody? Monday? You're just going to get it up to you. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I, didn't pull my, I, didn't, I didn't bring my calendar with me. Dang. I got the oh, wrong God. one. <laughs> then I didn't bring my phone, you know. I know, I know, I know. So. I mean, we could have the 11th if we don't have any resolutions, but. Whatever works for Jerry and you. Okay. Let, let's put it on the 7th and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll look at my calendar right away. And, yeah. I, I haven't set up my August dates with them yet. I will be this week. I'm like your phone. I got to make a phone call. I'll see if August 7th works. You got to talk. Well, she has my calendar. Thank you for calling Head of Columbia Electric Cooperative. She was there earlier. Hello, this is John. Can you page Stacy for me, please? Yes. Thanks. I have to remember okay. It's just that if I set a date, then I set my calendar. Okay. Uh, I'll check today. If the seventh doesn't work, I'll make sure we get back. Is there any other days that work that week for everybody else? Yeah, Jerry's got okay. Can't do the eighth. Well, hopefully the seventh works out. If not, maybe I can move whatever else is on that day if I have it. So okay. Back to the agenda. Otherwise, then uh we just have uh uh Look to move into convening closed sessions per Wisconsin State Stats Section 1985, Parent 1, Parent C, for the purpose of considering employment, promotion, compensation, 
a performance evaluation of every public employee over which the government by has jurisdiction or exercise or responsibility and then discuss and or act on performance evaluation of a core council. I entertain it. I need a motion. So moved. Okay. Okay. Motion by Supervisor Barsky, second by Supervisor Scott Pease. Roll call vote. Supervisor Paler. Supervisor Scott Pease. Yes. Supervisor Rick Pease. Yes. Supervisor Kabarski. Yes. Supervisor West is yes. So we're in closed session. So. Rick. Rick Paler. West is yes. Okay. Motion to go into open session uh, is approved. Uh, Next thing on the agenda is to adjourn. So meeting is adjourned. Thank you and have a good weekend. So.